Today, 28th of year corresponds to Hilula, your site of Shimon Hanavi, as well as Yom Yerushalayim. So, speaking about Shimon Hanavi, in Gemara, Trakit Berachot, Masachet Berachot, recounts the famous story of Hana. But as you know, Hana was one of the wives of El Hana. El Hana had two wives uh, in the Talmudic times. And uh, from uh, Hana, El Hana had no children. El Hana had another wife, Pinina, and from that he had children. But from Hana, he did not have children. And uh, Torah recounts, uh, the Navi tells us that Hana was very upset about this. And she went to uh, Beit HaMikdash, and she started praying with all his uh, might, with all of her being, to Hashem. But Hashem, I want a child. And the prayer that she gave was not a, just a simple prayer that I want a regular child. For the duration of 10 years, she was praying that I want to have a child like Moshe and Aharon. And she did not give up. And after 10 years, her prayers were answered. So much so that Eliha Kohen, who was the Kohen Gadol at that time, she thought that Hana was drunk. And he approached her, uh, right? He approached her, rebuking her, that why are you praying here in such a holy place in a drunk way? So she responded that I'm not drunk. I'm, I'm, I'm upset and I'm, I'm praying with all of my might. So from here, our Chachamim teaches us that if a person has a sincere prayer, his prayer will be responded, it will be answered. And a person should not compromise when it comes to asking something in Ruchniyot. If you want something in Ruchniyot, in spirituality, you don't compromise. You compromise when it comes to Gashmiyot, to physical aspects of your life. By, for Ruchniyot, you could ask for best of the best. Perhaps another lesson that we can learn from Shemul Hanavi, Shemul Hanavi was as great as Moshe and Aharon together. And his kever is just right by uh, outside of uh, Yerushalayim. It's right there. You could go and see it's such a magnificent place. Now, Shemuel Hanavi lived in the times of Shaul Hamelech. And he came with lots of prophecies. He was, in fact, the, the person who anointed uh, uh, Shaul Hamelech. Now, from Shemuel Hanavi, now, there is a whole uh, uh, sefer in Navi, Navi'im named Shmuel uh, that speaks about his greatness. What was his greatness? His greatness, perhaps one of his greatness was that he was able to go and speak to the king and give him to Chacha in a very unique way. You know, giving rebuke to king is not easy. But Shmuel Hanavi constantly uh, advised Shaul HaMelech. And perhaps if Shaul HaMelech would have listened to Shemuel Hanavi, right, obviously we cannot judge for him, but he could have been much more successful. Bezat Hashem HaKadosh Baruch Hu should help us that we learn the life and legacies of great prophets. Uh, and Bezat Hashem, we get to know at least a little bit of what they accomplish and perhaps we can imitate, uh, imitate in our lives. Uh, Amen.